Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 327. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 327 to 328. Hey, in this trick we want to do a Gantt chart, a daily Gantt chart, but we want to include holidays and weekends. Now I've done other videos on the Gantt chart daily, but in this one we want to extend the end date. Here's the start date. We Our project is six days, but our end date needs to also add extra days when there's a Saturday, a Sunday, or a holiday. So we're going to start first create our end date using the work day function which delivers a serial number date given uh, a number of days and holidays and it will add Saturdays and Sundays. We'll do that and then we'll do our conditional formatting because our ultimate goal is to have red, some red in the cell for uh, the full length of the project. Six plus any holidays plus any Saturdays and Sundays will give us the full red range. And then we're going to add a second conditional formatting which will tell us, oh, within this red, this is a holiday and we'll use green for that. All right, our formula for end date is work day. And it needs a start date, so I click right there comma the total days for the project or we're going the total days going forward right now it'll do Saturday and Sunday so it'll add extra days an extra day for Saturday and an extra day for Sunday comma and now if we highlight some holidays in a range down somewhere in your spreadsheet it'll also add days for those extra holidays now I need to lock this arrange right here but not these ones here so I'm going to click my cursor and hit the F4 key twice to lock it in front of the row reference. Control enter. I'm going to drag it down. Click on the last one and sure enough we got it right. Now let's do our conditional formatting. When you're doing conditional format it's very important when you highlight it to be aware of where the active cell is. I'm actually going to scoot it over like this so we uh, have just the numbers we need. Active cell is right there because we're going to build a true false formula in memory in the conditional format dialog box and it's as if it copies it down and over but the formula is not in the cell so we're building the point of view from the point of view of that cell in 2007 you can get to conditional formatting home styles conditional formatting a new rule in 2003 you go to format menu conditional formatting <coughs> the keyboard shortcut that works in both versions alt od new rule formula and then click right there in 2003 you got to click in that first text box and go to formula is now what we're going to do first is simply ask of each cell we're going to have to look at the column header this date and say is it greater than or equal to that and less than or equal to this so that means we're going to be using the and function I'm going to click on the column header It needs to be locked in front of the row reference but not the column hit my F4 key dollar sign in front of the number only greater than or equal to this start date now the start date when the formula gets copied over this direction needs to be locked but not when it goes down to the next start date so I'm going to hit my F4 twice dollar sign in front of the column reference but not row comma and then we're going to say that one locked in front of the row reference is less than or equal to the end date and that one is locked only in front of the column close parentheses now I'm going to add some formatting red by the uh, and then font color because I choose red is a dark value color so I choose to light font color this is fill or patterns in earlier versions click OK click OK I must have uh, yes I have too many uh, dollar signs right there so that C2, I need to click right there and hit the F4 key twice. Uh, so it's only in front of the, do, the column reference, but not the uh, number. And so that's this one right here. OK, click OK. And so now we have our red, our range of red. But now, on top of the red, we want to add green for Saturday and Sunday. And these are holidays, so we want some green there. We're going to highlight the same range. And this could be a little tricky one. We're going to have to use the same conditional formatting we just used for the red, but we're going to have to add another 
true-false condition that also has to be true, asking is it a Saturday or a Sunday or a holiday. So active cell is right there, Alt-O-D. Now I'm actually going to double click this and open this up. I'm going to scoop this out because one of the conditions is this. So I'm going to control C so I don't have to type it again. Click cancel. Then a new rule. Use formula right here. And we have two conditions, remember, the, the red condition and then the or condition for Saturday, Sunday, or holiday. So I'm going to say equals and. There's two conditions, so I'm going to control V on the first one. Com that means it's the project range, comma. Now we have to do a or inside of an and, because there's three things. Any one of them come out to be true matched with this means it should be green. So we do or. And we'll do the holidays first. We still have to get the uh, uh, column header, right? The active cell is right there, that red one. Right there is the red one. But we need this, boop, and locked. I'm going to hit my F4 key so it's locked in front of the row reference. That is equal to any one of these as a range. Now what's nice about the OR function is it can handle that. Three cells in this range are equal set equal to a single cell. It'll deliver a true or false, a true or false, or a true or false for three cells. Any one of them come out and the OR will say, OK, for that conditional test, it's a true. Comma. Now, we need to figure out something that will ask this date right here, are you a Saturday or Sunday? And we're going to use weekday, because weekday can deliver a 1 for Monday, a 2 for Tuesday, all the way to a 7 for Sunday. And what we're looking for is 6 or 7. So I'm going to do weekday. Open parentheses, I have to click on that same cell and lock it only in front of the row reference, comma, 2. What's the 2 do? Where there's different numbering systems, the one we want, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Monday through Sunday, is represented by 2. Close parentheses. Oh, that means that a Sunday will pop out as 6, and a, sa a um, Saturday will pop out as 6, Sunday will pop out as 7, so we have to say greater than 5. 5 is Friday. Now, close parentheses on the OR, close parentheses on the AND. And then we're going to format it, green. Click OK, click OK, and now click OK. And now we have our lovely little Gantt chart. There are our holidays. Now let's test it, or holidays and Saturday and Sunday. Let's test it. Let's delete this. I wonder if I can make this. OK. What should happen if I delete this is that green should go away and that red should go away because the total range for the project will decrease by one and the green will decrease by one. So I'm going to delete and sure enough that's exactly what it does. Now I'm going to control Z to put it back. All right, so there's a Gantt chart including please tell us when there are Saturday, Sundays and holidays. All right, we'll see you next trick.